really my burden there. It's a whole trail of fishing gut all tangled. Look at it. You see that? I feel sorry for it. I can see it getting weaker and weaker. You can see it's a lot more fluff today. Every day it'll just get weaker because there's no way it can forage efficiently. You know what? It might just get tangled in the bush. Got tangled in the bush. I knew the gut would tangle. So I chased him when he landed the second time, yeah? He got tangled up and it just took enough time for him to get loose that I could actually get him. You can see that gut is really messing him up. Now listen, oh, eventually yeah. get it. Look at the gut. That's why gut, fishing gut. Hmm, bad That's stuff. Edge. Yeah, now we'll cut it off now. You can see he's totally tied up in the gut. And twine. I think it comes out the nest. We're gonna have to sit and pick all of these things loose. What happens is the crows bring the gut and the baling twine and that to the nest sites. Crows often suffer from this as well. And obviously it ends up in the trees and stuff and then it tangles a lot of other birds. It's an ibis, very common in town. Well, you can see the pain the bird is in because, I mean, it's losing weight, it's getting weaker and weaker, but that's surely from the pain. You can imagine a lot of blood flow is constricted to the feet. But the toes are virtually tied together, so it can't even sit or use its feet properly. Sorry, my bird. I've got to get this stuff loose. Keeping the bird held like this, you're stressing it out no end, even more so. So I've got to get it done as fast as possible. Okay, now I'm starting to get there now, I can see. There we go. Middle toe is free. Okay, there we go. Take that. See? That's great. Funny. Just stall, 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 stall. We're nearly there, bird. Nearly there. Okay, now. I actually just kicked at the wrong time because now I can get your toe totally loose. There we go. That toe is loose, that's why it's getting pain. Okay, I almost thought it died, but it's just like you could see it away. Okay, okay, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. The last knot going. Okay. Come on, come on, off you go. Calm down. No, that's clear. Cat foot's nice and warm. Yeah, both feet are warm, eh? Why is the warm, why is warm important? It's got it's blood, blood flow. flow. Rush hour traffic, everyone rushing on the way home, so I just want to release him away from where the cars are. It'd be kind of pointless if he went into the road and got flattened. What a feeling, eh? What a feeling. Give okay, a little tail wag. There we go. Shame, he can't get used to walking normally. He's almost, got, he's almost got an exaggerated walk. The gut's been around him so long, he's not walking. You can see he's like used to his legs being tied together. It's gonna take a bit of time to get used to walking normally. And his feet must be sore, like Alison says, you know, the blood flow must be pretty painful. Ah, oh, he's a lot better now. Look at him, he's preening. That's always a good sign. You see him preening? Then you'll be fine. If you like this video, check out our Wild Warrior channel. We're always posting new animal content.